Jennifer Kate Hudson is an American singer, actor, and talk show host. She is also known by her nickname, J.Hud. She has won numerous awards over her career for her work in theater, television, film, and recorded music. After winning the Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony Egioti honors, Hudson became the second African-American woman and the youngest person to win all four of the major American entertainment prizes. In 2013, she was also awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. She was listed by Time in 2020 as one of the 100 most important persons on the planet. After finishing seventh as a finalist in the third season of American Idol, Hudson gained notoriety in 2004. As Effie White in the musical Dreamgirls, 2006, she made her feature debut in cinema and went on to win the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress, making history as the youngest African American to triumph in a competitive acting category. Hudson's self-titled first studio album, which she released in 2008 after signing with Arista Records, received the Grammy Award for Best R&B Album and was certified gold in both the US and the UK. I Remember Me, 2011, and JHUD, 2014, Hudson's following studio albums, both debuted in the top 10 of the Billboard 200 chart, with the former earning a gold certification in the United States. Her other acting credits include roles in the television series Smash, 2012, Empire, 2015, and Confirmation, 2016, the film Sex and the City, 2008, The Secret Life of Bees, 2008, Winnie Mandela, 2011, Black Nativity, 2013, Sing, 2016, Cats, 2019, and Respect, 2021 as well as her Broadway debut in the musical The Color Purple. From 2017 to 2019, Hudson served as a coach on both the US and UK versions of The Voice, making history as the first female coach to win the former. She started hosting The Jennifer Hudson Show, a talk show, in 2022. Jennifer Hudson's Early Life On September 12, 1981, Hudson was born in Chicago, Illinois. She is Darnell Donerson and Samuel Simpson's third and youngest child. Born and brought up in Englewood, she attended Dunbar Vocational High School, where she earned her diploma in 1999. She lists Patti LaBelle, Aretha Franklin, and Whitney Houston as her three main inspirations and influences overall. She's also mentioned Mariah Carey as one of her heroes in music. She began her performance career at the age of seven, participating in community theater and singing in the church choir with the assistance of her late mother Julia. She enrolled at Langston University, but she transferred to Kennedy King College after a semester because she was homesick and didn't like the weather there. Hudson landed her first recording deal with Chicago-based independent record company Righteous Records in January 2002. In 2004, she was freed from her five-year deal with Righteous Records to participate in American Idol. Hudson went to Atlanta to try out for the third season of American Idol. When she mentioned that she had been singing as one of the muses from Hercules on Disney Cruise Lines for the previous few months, Judge Randy Jackson said, We're expecting more than a cruise ship performance from you. On April 6, 2004, Hudson performed Elton John's Circle of Life and garnered the most votes in the top nine. However, two weeks later, in the top seven episode, she was eliminated after performing in Barry Manilow's Weekend in New England. Hudson was ranked as the sixth best American Idol competitor ever by MTV in May 2009, with the network stating that her elimination was the most unexpected of all time. The Los Angeles Times ranked Hudson as the third greatest American Idol candidate of all time in May 2010. She was ranked after Kelly Clarkson, the winner of season one, and Carrie Underwood, the winner of season four. Hudson sings a duet called The Future Ain't What It Used To Be on Meat Loaf's Bat Out of Hell 3, The Monster Is Loose, marking one of her album debuts. Hudson gave a live performance of the song, Over It, on Fox Chicago Morning News in September of 2006. 
She said in the interview that the song would be on her debut album, which would be out in early 2007. But this was before she had a record deal. Hudson inked a record contract with Arista Records in November 2006. Along with co-writing Stand Up with Bill Grainer and Earl Powell, Hudson also recorded the song, which her fan website offered a preview of. Powell and Herman Little III, two Chicago residents, produced and orchestrated the song. Later, as a bonus track on the deluxe edition of Hudson's self-titled album, the power ballad was made accessible. Hudson was chosen to play Effie White in the November 2005 Dreamgirls movie, which also starred Jamie Foxx, Eddie Murphy, and Beyoncé Knowles. It was Hudson's first time acting on screen. She defeated hundreds of experienced actors and singers for the part, including Fantasia Barino. Dreamgirls started filming on January 9, 2006, and was released nationwide on January 12, 2007, after a limited theatrical run on December 25, 2006. The role's signature song, And I Am Telling You I'm Not Going, was previously recorded and had already become a musical standard due to Jennifer Holliday's iconic performance. Hudson has received particular recognition for her stunning on-screen version of this song. Five mellifluous, molto vibrato minutes that have suddenly catapulted Ms. Hudson, into the position of frontrunner for the Best Supporting Actress Oscar, was how the New York Observer put Hudson's rendition of the song. When moviegoers hear Hudson sing the song, Newsweek claimed that she is going to raise goosebumps across the land. Hudson's performance calls to mind debuts like Barbara Streisand in Funny Girl or Bette Midler in The Rose, with a voice like the young Aretha, according to a Variety magazine article. Love You I Do took home the 2008 Grammy Award for Best Song Written for a Motion Picture, Television, or Other Visual Media after being nominated for the 2007 Academy Award for Best Original Song. Hudson received 29 nominations for Best Supporting Actress and Breakthrough Performer of 2006 from film critics while playing Effie White. The Golden Globe for Best Actress in a Supporting Role went to her. She has also received awards for Best Supporting Actress from the Screen Actors Guild and the Broadcast Film Critics Association. Following Hudson's Dreamgirls performance, Simon Cowell recorded a congrats message for her that was broadcast on The Oprah Winfrey Show. Jennifer Hudson made history by being the first African-American singer and the third African-American celebrity to appear on the cover of Vogue magazine in the March 2007 issue. Hudson did not attend the London 60th British Academy Film Awards on February 11, 2007, to accept her BAFTA Award for Best Actress in a Supporting Role. Hudson did not receive her BAFTA until April 22, 2011, when it was given to her on The Graham Norton Show. The trophy vanished. For her performance in the movie, she was awarded the 2007 Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress on February 25. Richard M. Daly, the mayor of Jennifer Hudson's hometown of Chicago, proclaimed March 6 to be Jennifer Hudson Day later in 2007. On June 18, she received an invitation to become a member of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, along with 115 other people, for the year 2007. Entertainment Weekly said of her performance, sure, Beyoncé's performance was great, and included it in their best of list for the decade. Eddie Murphy's was also really good. It was Jennifer Hudson's Soul to the Rafters performance of the iconic And I'm Telling You I'm Not Going, though, that had us all running to see Dreamgirls in 2006. She wasn't just singing a line when she sang, You're Gonna Adore Me, it was a truth. In May 2008, Hudson starred as Carrie Bradshaw's assistant Louise in the feature film Sex and the City. The movie was released on May 30, 2008, after filming concluded in December 2007. Hudson debuted in The Secret Life of Bees in October 2008, playing Rosaline, Dakota Fanning's mother figure and Lily Owen's mother. This was her third cinematic role. Along with Alicia Keys, the film also stars Sophie Okonedo and Queen Latifah, two other Oscar nominees.
On October 17, 2008, the movie debuted and made over $37 million at the box office. In January 2009, the movie took home two People's Choice Awards, Best Dramatic Picture and Best Independent Picture. In addition, the movie was nominated for nine Black Reel Awards, winning three of them. Despite being nominated for her role in the movie, Hudson was defeated by Queen Latifah. At the 2009 NAACP Image Awards, the movie was also nominated for eight awards, including one for Hudson's performance. Hudson, along with Dakota Fanning and Forrest Whitaker, acted as Kathy Arkenault in the 2009 movie Fragments, which was based on the Roy Fryrick novel. August 4, 2009 saw the DVD release of the film. 2010 saw Hudson begin filming the Winnie Mandela biography, which was directed by Daryl J. Root and starred Terence Howard as the South African leader. The screenplay for the movie, written by Andre Petersa, Root, and Paul L. Johnson, was inspired by the biography Winnie Mandela, A Life by and Marie Dupree's Bezdrop. The South African branch of the Creative Workers Union has expressed opposition to this decision, threatening to put a stop to the movie if the casting is not changed. The trailer for Winnie Mandela was released in 2010, but the film's original release date was set for December 2011. On September 6, 2013, Image Entertainment released the movie. Hudson went back into the recording studio in January 2008 to record additional tracks for her first studio album. According to reports, Hudson's label felt it would be better to throw out the earlier tracks and concentrate on new ones since they were not thrilled with the musical direction they were taking her. Hudson collaborated on several songs with Timbaland and Ryan Tedder. On June 10, 2008, Hudson's first single, Spotlight, was released. It quickly became her first top 40 hit, debuting at number 24 on the Billboard Hot 100 and reaching the top 20 in Turkey and the United Kingdom. Jennifer Hudson, her debut studio album, co-produced by Stargate and Neo, was released on Arista on September 30, 2008. Timbaland, Missy Elliott, Robin Thicke, Harvey Mason, Jr., Diane Warren, Earl Powell, Christopher, Tricky, Stewart, and others are among the other contributors to the album. Positive reviews greeted the album when it was released, and it debuted at number 2 on the Billboard 200 with 217,000 sales in the US. The album was certified gold for sales over 500,000 copies as of August 2009, having sold 739,000 copies in the United States. She sang, All Dressed in Love, from the soundtrack of Sex and the City, which was released on May 27, 2008. At the Democratic National Convention in 2008, Hudson sang the national song. Originally scheduled for release in October 2008, My Heart was to be the second single from the album, however, If This Isn't Love was ultimately selected as the official second single. The song was originally supposed to be released in January 2009, however, it was rescheduled after her family members were brutally killed. But in January 2009, her label decided to reschedule the second single's release, this time for February 2009. Following its debut, If This Isn't Love reached its highest position on the Billboard Hot 100 at number 63 and the UK Singles Chart at number 37. April 2009 saw the release of Pocketbook, featuring Ludacris, as the third single, although there had been rumors that My Heart, which had been cancelled as the second single, would be the third. This was for a June 2009 release. Pocketbook was withdrawn as the third single in May 2009 since it was not well received by both reviewers and fans. Then, on June 2, 2009, the third single, Giving Myself, was released in the United States. At the 2009 Grammy Awards, Hudson's debut album earned her three nominations, Best R&B Album for Jennifer Hudson, Best R&B Performance by a Duo or Group with Vocals for I'm His Only Woman with Fantasia Barino and Best Female R&B Vocal Performance for Spotlight. At Super Bowl 43 in February 2009, 
Hudson made her first public appearance since the killings by singing the Star Spangled Banner. In 2009, she and Robin Thicke went on a U.S. tour. Hudson had to delay her May 16 to 19, 2009, tour dates due to throat fatigue that struck her in early May 2009. In July 2009, she performed Will You Be There during the Michael Jackson Memorial Service. The song, Neither One of Us, Wants to Be the First to Say Goodbye, originally recorded by Gladys Knight and the Pips, was sung by Hudson for the official American Idol CD for the third season, American Idol Season 3, Greatest Soul Classics. The song, Leaving Tonight, from Neo's Because of You, her second album, features her. In December 2009, Hudson performed the Jennifer Hudson, I'll Be Home for Christmas Christmas Special. She relived her childhood Christmases with musical performances captured on camera at her favorite spots in her hometown of Chicago during the presentation. Throughout the show, Hudson also paid visits to friends, family, and other influential people from her youth. Hudson performed the Beatles, Let It Be, during his appearance on the telethon, Hope for Haiti Now, a global benefit for earthquake relief, on January 22, 2010. As of January 26, 2010, the show has raised $61 million in donations. Hudson also recorded the song, One Shining Moment, for the 2010 NCAA Division I Men's Basketball Tournament in the same year. Weight Watchers appointed Hudson as their spokesperson in 2010. She had dropped 56 pounds, 25 kilograms, that year and, did, not want to lose any more weight. But when she made an appearance on the Oprah Winfrey show on February 10, 2011, she disclosed that she had shed 80 pounds in total. She described how she lost weight in her 2012 autobiography, I Got This how I changed my ways and lost what weighed me down. Neo revealed to E. She has undoubtedly grown more powerful. It's incredible that despite everything she's been through, she still has a positive attitude. In May 2011, No One Gonna Love You became popular on urban adult contemporary radio in the US. In July 2011, a remix package titled, No One Gonna Love You The Remixes, was made available for digital download in the US and the UK. Ranking number 23 on the hot R&B slash hip-hop songs is the song. Don't Look Down is a non-single that peaked at number 70 on the US hot R&B slash hip-hop songs chart. In the Farrelly Brothers 2012 film The Three Stooges, Hudson portrayed a nun. The day following Whitney Houston's passing, Hudson honored her memory by performing I Will Always Love You at the 54th Grammy Awards, which took place at the Staples Center in Los Angeles, California, on February 12, 2012. Smash's second season featured a multi-episode guest starring role for Hudson. During Super Bowl XLVII, she performed America the Beautiful alongside the chorus from Sandy Hook Elementary School. Hudson performed a musical cinematic tribute at the 85th Academy Awards. She joined Ryan Lewis, Mary Lambert, and Macklemore for a performance of Same Love at the 2013 MTV Video Music Awards. A new song from Hudson's upcoming third studio album was made available on her website on September 21, 2013. The 2013 Soul Train Awards saw T.I. sing the up-tempo ballad, I Can't Describe, The Way I Feel, in the style of the 1970s, produced by Pharrell. She was joined by Shaka Khan, Evelyn Champagne King, and T.I. In October 2013, Hudson co-starred with Jordan Sparks in the drama-slash-musical Black Nativity and the coming-of-age drama The Inevitable Defeat of Mr. and Pete. She also makes an appearance in the drama Lullaby with Amy Adams. Hudson received the 2,512th star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame on November 13, 2013. On September 23, 2014, Hudson's third studio album, J.H.U.D., was made available. The album, according to Hudson, is upbeat in comparison to her earlier work.
Among the people she collaborated with were Ree Dunn, R. Kelly, Pharrell Williams, and Timbaland. Regarding the content, Ree Dunn stated, It's soulful dance, but it's not dancing. It has an extremely 70s vibe. My boss and sister will work until 4 or 5 in the morning, sleeping on the couch. In an interview with Jonathan Ross on The Jonathan Ross Show, Hudson revealed that the song, It's Your World, with R. Kelly will be on the album. Later, the song was included in the 2015 Grammy Awards nomination list for Best R&B Vocal Performance. The first single off her new album, Walk It Out, featuring Timbaland, was released on June 20th along with the music video. Different expressions of, Hudson, as an artist, a girl, and, a music lover, would be featured on her third album, J.H.U.D. About her personal life. In 1999, Hudson turned 18 and began dating James Payton. By late 2007, they had split up. The two were engaged in September 2008 after Hudson got to meet WWE professional wrestler David Otunga, a Harvard Law graduate. Hudson's first child, David Daniel Otunga, Jr., was born in August 2009. The split of Hudson and Otunga occurred in October 2017. Inside the Chicago house, Darnell Donerson shared with Hudson's older sister Julia on October 24, 2008, the bodies of their 29-year-old brother Jason and 57-year-old mother Darnell Donerson were discovered shot to death. Julia King reported her 7-year-old nephew, Julian King, missing, and an Amber Alert was sent out for him. After three days, the nephew's body was discovered on Chicago's west side, and the Federal Bureau of Investigation verified that he had died from multiple gunshot wounds, based on an autopsy. William Balfour, Julia's 27-year-old estranged husband, is accused by the police of three first-degree murder charges and one home invasion charge. After being found guilty on all seven charges, he was given three life sentences without the chance of release in July 2012, plus an extra 120 years for his earlier convictions. In memory of the three victims, Hudson's family established the Hudson King Foundation for Families of Slain Victims. In memory of her nephew, Hudson and her sister established the Julian D. King Gift Foundation. It gives school supplies and Christmas gifts to underprivileged families in the Chicago region. Hudson currently resides in Burr Ridge, Illinois, a Chicago suburb to the west, as of 2011. What are your thoughts on the life and career of Jennifer Hudson? Kindly provide us with your opinions by leaving a comment below. We hope you found this video useful. Please remember to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and would want to be notified when more are posted. You can also choose and distribute our content. I'll see you in the following video.